It's been far too long since my last video, and you might be wondering where I've been for these past like six months. Uh, well, for one, we moved. We moved just a little bit north from where we used to live in Columbus, Ohio, um, somewhere where we have a little bit more room to breathe, a little bit more seclusion, um, and some property that we can really make our own. I know that Benny really loves it here. And you see this little tiny patch of grass behind me, back here? Hopefully, in the long term, I can save up enough to build a little studio back here. You know, give me, give me a little bit of a commute from home, um, but more on that later. So we've been in the new house for about six months now, and it's been amazing compared to the old place, living in this tiny neighborhood in Columbus. We've got so much more room to breathe. Uh, we have a garden where we can grow our own vegetables. And like I mentioned, there's a spot in the backyard where I could potentially build a studio for my work, which is the dream. And really the house is pretty much done other than the main living areas, making it the way we want it. We have a lot of the old furniture from the old house. So it's about taking the time, get the things we want and to make it our own, which has been really fun and exciting. This is where we've lived and where I have worked for the past six months. And I know that I am incredibly lucky that I've been able to help build this life for me and my family, doing the work that I enjoy doing most as a freelancer. That in and of itself, it for a freelancer is the dream. And I've been fortunate enough to have sustainable work for these past couple of years, which has allowed all of this to be possible. And that's what has kept me busy for this past couple years and these past six months and why I dip in and out of these radio silence modes, why I don't post on social media or make new videos often. Over these past couple of years of doing intense client work and especially this past year, I've learned so much. Things like how to make the right design decisions in my work, how to climb out of being burnt out, how to stay focused and create the right processes so I can meet the most aggressive deadlines I've ever had. I'm finally at a point where I just have the slightest bit of confidence in being a graphic designer and being a freelancer. I still have so much more to improve on though. Which brings me to the point of this video and why I'm actually taking the time to make it. My biggest struggle right now being a freelance graphic designer is sharing. I've had my head down focusing on client work so much that I have forgotten the value of sharing. In real talk, I'm at a point where I could stop sharing altogether on social media to where I have built these connections with my existing clients where I don't need to be putting myself out there to find clients anymore. But future me is going to be very thankful that I didn't go completely radio silent that there is value in sharing, that there's gonna be a point in my career, I assume it's gonna be decades from now, where I may not want to be creating and depending so much on client work itself, that I might want to pivot at some point to products or teaching, making content, something like that. And those things require an audience. And as you know, building an audience takes time and so much effort. So here I am making an effort to share my current struggles with you. And not to mention that this is a way that I can creatively challenge myself in ways that client work can't. So my goal moving forward is really to just show up and to keep sharing things like my current struggles because I personally am kind of like a perfectionist. And so I know that I would rather go through experiences and then reflect back on them to share them. But I know that when I was starting out, I would have rather had someone sharing the struggles as they were going through them. And so that's what I'm trying to do, or what I hope to do. When I have a struggle, I share it. When I have some sort of success, I share it. When I have something like a client project that I am allowed to share, hopefully I can share that. So with that said, I want to hear from you. I want to know an update. Where are you at? What are you working on? Things like that. And especially help me know what you would like to see from me on my channel, even on my social media. Being a freelancer that works from home, I have no one to bounce ideas off of. It's just me doing all the work, wearing all the hats. So if you let me know what I can do to help you, that helps me know what to make. So this has been a very concise update for me. I've got things, for example, like I don't have my office completely finished. I don't have anything on the walls. I have this whole empty corner over here that you can't see right now that maybe I can put a little couch and build a couple shelves with. So I was thinking maybe just doing more just generalized videos. That's not just specifically sitting in front of the camera and talking about a certain topic, but more so the day-to-day, -day, what I'm doing, things that are keeping me excited through my day-to-day -day as a freelancer. Would that be something you'd be interested in seeing? Currently, I'm thinking, what's next? What's gonna be my next video? 
And to be completely transparent, I have no idea. At this time, I do have a bunch of ideas, but nothing that's like just jumping off at me that gets me excited to make these videos. And that's kind of the struggle that I have, that there are things that I want to do, like make videos, make new products and mock-ups and things like that, but I'm so overwhelmed with client work that at the end of the day, I just want to do absolutely nothing. And there are days where I have just a little bit of free time and I want to fill that time productively. That's why I'm making this video. That's how I'm even making the time to do this video today is that I have all of the balls in the other court of the clients. So hopefully I'm actually not sitting on 10 emails back from the clients right now after I'm done shooting this. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Again, let me know your thoughts on this video. If you'd wanna see just generalized videos, what specifically would you like to see? I don't know if I wanna do tutorials of design, um, but I think I can get creative with it and how to do it. Maybe going over some actual real world work and not just doing a random arbitrary design, showing you work that I've been paid for and how I solved a solution for a client and everything that went into that from start to finish. I don't know. That could be cool. Lots of things going on in my head right now. I'm gonna end this video. Okay, thanks again for watching. Now, let's get back to work.